these two paintings I did during the weekend. It's Monday today. I'm not going to share how I did them because they're very similar. It's the same colors with the exception that I added some dark gold and some bronze to these ones. And a little bit of white. So it's very similar to the one that I did that was 40 by 40. This is 30 by 30 and 20 by 20. I wanted to do a small series in the big different sizes, going from small to a little bit bigger. I love the red one when it dries up and especially when it has a layer of resin. So these ones, when they're fully cured, they're going to have a layer of resin. And hopefully we can um, take a video of that so you can see how we are doing it. But we are in the starting process of doing resin with the odd resin. So, and we also have to be very mindful of the weather conditions, how the temperatures are. I cannot do it in my studio. It's too, there's too much humidity down here and it's not hot enough. So the results could go very bad. So we will do it in upstairs in the room where the dogs are not there as well, because that's the second thing. We need to find a room where it's not too dusty and totally free of doggy hairs. And since I have two dogs and especially one with a lot of hair on it, and I actually see that I have a lot of hair on my apron here, but never mind. But uh, we will try to see if we can uh, share that in a video so you can see how we do that with the art resin. So let me put this away and then get to today's stuff that we need to do. What I'm gonna do I'm making sure that I'm not touching the top of it because it's still very wet. So I gave you a sneak peek a couple of videos back of uh, this um, what rope door. It is actually a what rope door from when the house was built that we live in. It was built in 1938. So you can imagine it had a lot of colors on it and the color that I added um, some few weeks back, three weeks back actually, was a blue base with violet and magenta on it. And unfortunately, I had a, a mix up there when I painted the back side of it. Um, I, when it was dry, I thought it was dry. Um, and I even touched the front of it after I had painted it and thought that was fully cured. It was not. So it got white paint, fingerprints on it, and at the same time, the cups that I had um, to support this uh, wardrobe door actually made marks in my painting. So I had to remove everything again. So what we're gonna do today is something totally different and this is tape and you can see that it had a blue color on it um, <clears throat> it will be blue again but I'm thinking to have white base and then a lot of blue colors um, so let me just go through that so we will have titanium white as the base we will have the thalo blue from Amsterdam we will have the pearl blue from Amsterdam. We will also have the Perusian blue, Thalo, from Amsterdam. Then I'm going to add the pearl green, just to add some effects in here. And then use the greenish blue, where I have a little bit of iridescent in it. Just a touch of it. And then at the end, I'm going to put silver in. No gold, no bronze because I think silver and blue is very awesome. So let me put down the base paint and then we're ready to add the colors. So I'll be right back. So this is a way to 
that I'm going to do my renovation of my what roll closet door. Okay, I really haven't thought about how to put down the pattern, and since it's up and down, I am thinking since I have yet another door that's longer than this, that I need to make a pattern so that it can meet up somehow. So I think I'm gonna just go with the flow here. I'm gonna add a lot of color. Right now I'm just gonna do the pattern, which is like this. And then I'm adding a lot of color. I have no idea how this is going to look. We'll see. Otherwise I just have to remove the paint again. Okay, so that was the phthalo blue. Let's go for the pearl blue. Lots of color. Be interesting. Then I'm going to have the Perusian blue phthalo from Amsterdam. I'm going to add a lot of it as well. That is going to be the Amsterdam pearl green. I'm going to have the greenish blue with the iridescent in it. Hope there is enough. Let's see. And then I can always add some more. I'm going to add some more here. And here as well. And then it's empty, so that was a good idea. And some silver. And these are all Amsterdam colors. That's it. Let's take away the bubbles and I'm seeing a doggy here and here as well one from each of them oh well maybe I should take out my sweater because I think it's the one that has all the dough in here right now. I think that's better to ensure that I'm not getting all the dough in here out here. <clears throat> Righty. Oh, they are so beautiful, the drops that are coming down here. <laughs> right, let's do the blowout. I will put you on mute. Or maybe I should just plug it in first. That will be a big help. Okay, let's have a go on this.
Whoa, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted this to be with less negative space. I wanted some of the colors to go way over here. And you do see that I blew out some more here. This is awesome. I really love this. I just want to get rid of a little bit here, but maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't touch it too much, but there is a big puddle of white right there. Um, but I do love the pattern here. I love the cells. I'm not sure that I should touch anything of this. Wow. There are some air bubbles that I just want to get rid of. So it's not because I want to generate more um cells here and especially not the small ones but i am gonna blow out some of them Ooh, this is beautiful it's so awesome this i love And on the bigger door, it's just going to be one long string, I think. Starting from down here and going that way. Wow. I love this. Whew. I don't have to worry so much about the edges, but I will take them. And then I will bring you in for a close-up. All right. We're back. This is just fantastic. Look at all these cells and these beautiful, beautiful lacing that are coming out here. And those colors are just, imagine heaven. I really enjoy this. I'm looking forward for this to dry up. Here we can really see all the blue colors coming together. It almost looks like pink down here. Wow. And it looks like I have gold in there, but I don't. It's actually the silver. That's what I'm saying on the camera. Even without the studio lights, it doesn't give it credit here. It looks like it's pink. It's definitely not. A fantastic flow. Very, very, very beautiful. I'm not going to change anything. I really enjoy this. What do you think? An opportunity to have art on your wardrobe closet. I hope it dries up awesomely. Um, it's going to have a layer of art resin as well. So I really look forward to seeing this dry. Let me know what you think. And I will show you both pieces when they're both dry and uh, resin, and hopefully this keep is a keeper, um, because this is very awesome. I hope you liked it, enjoyed, and got inspired. Until next week, have a fantastic day. Bye bye.